celebrities, gender violence and women's rights, toward the transformation of the framework of recognition. This is the title of the article written for the Latina Journal of Social Communication but by professors Mary Jose Camez Fuentes from the Universitat Jaume I, Re Rebecca Maceda from the University of Alaska Anchorage and me, Emma Gomez Nicolau from the University of Valencia. Our research aims to contribute to the analysis of the products of popular culture that address gender violence as a social concern through the application of the concept of ethical witnessing which has emerged from the tradition of trauma studies and allows us to examine in which measure media discourses can subvert or challenge the current framework of recognition of gender violence. A framework that is based on the reified figure of the woman victim, late of agency that individualized the responses and often re-victimized women in the depiction processes or blames them for their situation. The study has two goals. On one hand, to test the applicability of our analytical model, and on the other, to contribute to the debate on the implication of the role played by celebrities giving visibility to gender, to gender violence. Our analytical model is based on the theoretical concept of ethical witnessing and involves four axes of analysis that address the main elements that come into play, play if we want to analyze the political dimension of media products. The first analytical dimension is the relationship established between the subject victim that gives a testimony and the witness. The challenge is to recognize such subject beyond the commonplaces of a narrative that singularizes the experiences of women and focuses on the horror of violence and the damaged body. In other words, the objective is to overcome the simplistic idiosyncratic discovery of the victim and move to a discourse that, from an epistemic perspective, bearing witnessing aims to reach a much more elusive and complex reality. The second area of analysis is the kind of realities that emerge in the discourse, that is, the narratives that relocate our perceptions and interpretations of the subjects that experience violence in the diverse social contexts. In this sense, the reference to the processes of secondary victimization are particularly important due to the possibilities they offer to identify new spaces of recognition and social and political demands. The third dimension is the visibility of the resistances to challenge the identity built on the woman victim. In order to overcome the essentialistic representation of women as vulnerable, it is necessary to address the individual and collective practices that are used to challenge gender violence. The fourth dimension focuses on the connections established between gender violence, women's rights and the social movements for recognition, redistribution and participation. We understand that in order to challenge the current framework of recognition, it is necessary to reveal the connections that exist between violence in its structural and culture dimensions. And to this end, to address social reality from an intersectional perspective that allows us to advance in the recognition of the context in which violence emerges. We have applied this model to three case studies that are framed within a context of post-feminist sensibility. We analyze the feminist activism of Beyoncé's lyrics symbols and performances, Emma Watson's He for She media campaign, and the primetime TV interview to Spanish actress Carmen Maura about how he was raped 30 years ago. These three cases articulate different dimensions involved in the concept of ethical witnessing. The analysis shows the ambivalence of the action of celebrities challenging the current framework of recognition. We appreciate the powerful impact of Beyoncé's agency, the ethical dimension provided on secondary victimization 
in the discourse of Carmen Maura and the emphasis on responsibility in Emma Watson's speech. However, these processes are combined with the concealing of other voices and might become disassociated from the collective fight, while reporting glamorous way of life runs the risk of obscuring the vulnerabilities in which the context of violence emerges.